and uh, we'll go back into the ring right now and of course uh, get the next bout on the way and of course uh, get the Inca, the Inca to call out the two boxers into the ring. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, our fourth fight of the night is an eight round national featherweight challenge in the blue corner. Nuruddin Prince Fata! Nuruddin Prince Fatai is 34 years of age now. Uh, of course, uh, he's a man that I've seen in many fights in the world of professional boxing. I've seen him fight many times and it seems to really age uh it's slowing him down these days 19 fight back into the ring for his opening to be called in in the red corner real one showboy And uh, Ruan Lawa there, another crowd favorite here. Uh, uh, of course, in Go TV boxing, he's 29 years. He's got a high top for one, five, one. And of course, he's got a fantastic reach as well. And looking forward to uh, seeing what he will bring uh, to this fight, I must say. And of course, uh, he's a very exciting one. He's got the showboard who likes to show himself in the ring. And we'll see how things go with him. And he's got 12 fights, 12 wins. No loss, of course, and out of those 12, seven by knockout. In the blue corner, weighed in at 61.2 kilograms. He has had 19 fights. One 14, lost four, two one, three by knockout. Nuruddin, Prince Fata. Corner weighed in at 57.9 kilograms. He has had 12 fights, won all 12. Seven by knockout. Real one, Showboy Lawa. Our judges are Constance. Tina Gorham, Sheyi, George, Wahab, Martins. Our referee is Shegu Adesoya. the center referee for this bout. Obey my commands at all times. Any foul committed by any of you will be duly penalized. You beat yourself at the beginning of the first round and the beginning of the last round. I want a clean fight. The seconds have the right to throw in the towel. If any of you is in trouble, have a great day. Soja boy, real show boy, the national champion. He is one to look out for. Real one lawal. Prince Nurdin Fatai. It's a man I need no introduction when it comes to go to the boxing. Box! Round one up here. Real show boy. I'm beating it to advice. And he wants to go straight into it. He's not even having any, no time to just uh, have cutscenes at all. He's going straight into it. 
and you already know he's a southpaw and he might throws that big left and then tries he wants to close things up oh there you have it straight away this looks like it could be a quick one before you blink it might be over and the fans are also going haywire green sun Throws that left again, but it misses it. I think that's the strength of uh, Ruan Lawan. The power of that left. You don't see it when it comes. Ruan Lawan, the national champion, is a great boxer. The real show boy. You can always expect some show from him. Another thing I love about him is that he's actually combining using every artillery, artillery he has. Body punches going in there. That's a rabbit point from here. The referee won't tolerate that. Absolutely, I need to warn him. Yeah, exactly. I saw that myself. That's what that's happening. Oh! So boy. Pure and brilliant combination. Right and left. This fight is a one way traffic at the moment. Absolutely, I agree with you on that one. And you said it as well, that you, you do not think that uh, Nuruddin has the firepower to score. Oh, another left again. One thing about Nuruddin is that he's got his staying power. Um, he can take punches and no matter the barrage that comes his way. Yeah, but he has, he's, not, he's not had this kind of punches coming from this man. It's all about Ruan Lawa. I don't think he has. I mean, he throws it with military precision. Thank you very much. Like just, guy, you yeah. just said it. It's like it's... Is that what you call a stealth missile? You pick your target and you send it. Yeah, I saw some uh, below the belt. Yeah, yeah, so below the belt are uh, punches there coming from the prints. And also stepping on the foot of the opening. This might be over. Oh, that was not. That was not. I think that should be against a real one. Yeah, it was a rabbit punch there. But unfortunately, the referee didn't see. The referee didn't see. He saw the punches that led to the rapid punch because it was the punches that sent him the other way. Exactly. But the punch that should have been, been it should have been a count down. The referee asking the Rodin, do you uh, want to continue? I, I think this should not be called off at this time at all. Not at all. It's, it's, still, it's still too early for that. I don't think the referee missed uh, that uh, rapid punch. Yeah. I want to fight his head. Continue the referee. The referee, very experienced, Shagra right this way. I wanted to get a confirmation that he's ready. And Nuruddin is holding on to the hands there, but you can't blame Rewa. Those rabbit punches are still coming yeah, from I, Rewa. I don't like that at all. But you, but sometimes you can't blame a boxer but when, when, your, when your hand is held by your opponent and he, the man doesn't want you to, you know, offload your, your punches. And there, a bit of a confusion. Uh, the, I think the bell was a bit drowned in the uh, drumming coming from the fans here, uh, just right behind us at the commentary desk. I said that was a very eventful first round. Now, let's take a look at the highlights. Real one, Lawal coming forward, and got that um, straight left hook or left hook rather. So, another one going in. Big right and that rabbit punch. The referee totally missed that one. Yeah, uh, uh, maybe we'll give the referee uh, the benefit of doubt because uh, he, he's not able to see the way we were seeing it. He was seeing it from a different angle and he actually saw the punch that sent him the other way and thought that it was still the power of that punch that actually took his opponent. Out. There is something about uh, some of our boxers here who have uh, Ghanaian trainers. In this case as well, the national champion has a Ghanaian trainer in James Quarty. And uh, you know about the strength of uh, the Ghanaians in boxing as well. Exactly. There you go with those rapid punches again, coming from both boxers. 
and uh, a very experienced uh, Mark. I just saw he goes in there, steps in. Real one la wall. He's got eight knockouts. From his 12 wins. So he's a sort of a knockout artist. And he's uh, going for a knockout in this fight. He doesn't want to hear any story at all. Like they say on the streets of uh, Los Lagos, no stories. But like you said as well, Chris Nurudin has the staying power. He may not throw the punches, but he takes a lot to actually uh, finally knock him out. The South Pole, national featherweight champion. Oh, look at that. Unleashing the right there. And he missed the left that he almost uh, swung himself to the ground. And look at the way he's just chasing uh, Fatai Nurudin around the ring, round and round. And look at Fatai there. It, it's just, a, it's looking like it's a matter of time. I think, I think it is. I think it's just a matter of time. Oh, probably a real one wants to give, uh, give the fans a, a bit more of something to cheer. Oh, brilliant left there. Catches a, a Nurudin while he was trying to duck down for that one. And that wide swing from Nurudin again. You know, um, such wide swings can uh, take some energy off the boxer. Absolutely. Uh, I tell you, if two well calculated punches come from Rewan Lawa, it'll be over. No one fighting back. Um, I'm talking about uh, Prince Nuri. Oh, he gets caught with the left again. But as usual, uh, a very strong chin on that man, the Prince. Good head movement there. And then all of a sudden, it does look like real one will find out that he's been chasing this man for too long. You know what? Come for me, Rahali. It's good to see you chase as well. You know, you know, end of the round there. I was right there on the 29th of August at Jorabadia when Lawal had his fight, his last fight against uh, Shuaibu Ali. And it was just, it took just 48 seconds of the first round. He floored Ali with a devastating right. Um, of course, it was over. Wow, that means he's actually very strong on on both the hands, actually, because his his better hand is the left. He is a southpaw. Exactly, but he's also got some big points with his right also. So he must have thought within himself, Nah, I'm not gonna waste this left on this man. No, not at all. He switches, and of course, a flood Schwabe in that one, and that's what he's hoping to do here. Yeah, but we know that uh, this man, the Prince, uh, like we said, has a lot of staying power. He may not uh, unleash a lot. He will take a lot from you to, to actually send him to the canvas. Mm. Look at the third round. Shadow the eight. There's a way about the style of uh, real one. He, he doesn't seem to guard his face because he's always looking to be on the offensive all the time. So you do not even have a chance to try and sh throw shots against him. He's very good in evading shots like on his way. We just saw it there again without defending himself, you know. And you know what thing I love about him? He can throw two big punches from the same hand at the just within the speed of like three seconds. That's how quick he is. Absolutely quick. Just jabbing away now. Yeah, I think his corner has told him, you know what, don't exact yourself too much. This man is a very stubborn fighter, and you just have to be a bit more, you know, tactical about how to take him out. I know there's one million naira at stake for the best boxer of the night. Absolutely. Uh, the so far, so good for me. Fantastic. I think two people are up for that. Uh, Michael, Emirate, Godwin, and then of course, success, Alani Raju. So far, so good. Uh, 
Okay. You, you say Muhammad Ali is the greatest when you ain't seen. Oh, you can say. When you ain't seen Michael, Michael, Mike Tyson. You say Cassius Clay is the greatest when you ain't seen Muhammad Ali. <laughs> They're both the same, you know that. That's what he told us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we still, there's still big battles that have come up tonight, so we still expect a whole lot. The real one is still to come. That's uh, about the real one. You know what? I wanted to just bring that up. Have you noticed that in Nigeria boxing scene, a lot of their good boxes are called real one? Real one. There's one here in the ring. There's another. There's baby face. Champion face in Ibadan. Baby yeah, I said there are four of them. Four of them are actually who are very good boxers. The real one is just entertaining now. Yeah, it just wants to give the fans something. And, and, and he did good, you know. He he decided, you know what? I'm not going to chase you about. I'm the champion. You come for it. Did you see that? Just a cutting shot, whatever um, Nuruddin wanted to bring. The uh, shot came in to keep him. Took the win off the sale that time for him. Yeah, I, and you know the good thing about a good boxer, uh, you, you should be able to fight on both grounds, offensive and defensive. Just looks like Rio is cooling the more experienced Nuruddin. Absolutely, absolutely. Here you have some highlights there. The Prince evading, but then gets a hit with that jab from the right, and then he himself comes back against the, the very, very sturdy Rowan Lawal. Cross section of the fans here. Officials of uh, multi choice. And then, of course, uh, the man himself, Jenkins Alimona, uh, the president of uh, Flycat Promotions who are one of the collaborators, in fact, they are the promoters of the Gold TV Boxing Night Series. And that young man there, having a lovely time. Yeah. And that's what this uh, event is all about. Uh, it's a time for a family to catch up, you know, on some quality time. In a very serene, but hostile. Oh, big combination there. I was talking about the atmosphere, but it's becoming very hostile in the ring. Body shot coming from real one lava. Does anybody jab? Great evasion from him. Yeah, both of them actually evaded big punches there. First one uh, was what uh, the Prince would he evaded that uppercut again. But he's going to do a lot to climb. I, I hope he can raise it. Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say now. The Prince should raise his hands up. Oh, he gets caught with that one. Rocks and good body punches coming from Lawal there. But what was Lawal looking at there? He could have actually taken him out after that uppercut. Lawal, he can sense that he can. Just has a big uppercut coming in and straight up, three straight jabs. He can follow up and go for the kill now. And it gets a clinched up on there. That was a smart move from Nuruddin. Absolutely. That's where experience comes to play. It was just too free flowing for a real one just a few seconds ago. He was, oh, another big right. The fans are enjoying it, they're loving every moment. If you leave it in the hands of the fans, they would want a knockout in every single bout tonight. Two good right handed jabs from real one, real showboy. I mean, he's just catching, catching the Prince at will. And the, the reaction from Prince is just not there. That's what we want from the Prince. Go for him. Oh, look at that. Those jabs are just connected. Devastating jabs, I must say. Left right combination. A real one. The Prince attempts an uppercut. Look at that. Those combinations, those double right 
and this is some punishment. Well, I don't think the prince sees it as that. He's there. <laughs> as long as he keeps his head up and stays there, he will tell you that's no punishment. And that penetrating left. You know, and you see, they say boxers and a southpaw are really not easy to fight against. Absolutely, because you know, as, as a right hander, as an orthodox boxer, you always expect that the punch is coming from the other side. Exactly. Most definitely. But this one. And the more dangerous ones are the ones that can switch from left to right. Like Lawa. They are south four. Yeah. But they've got another uh, big point that can come from the other side. You know why? Because you, con you condition your brain to think, okay, he's coming from the left. And then all of a sudden, you're protecting yourself on the left, on, on, on your right hand side, thinking the punch is coming from the left. And oh, boom, you get it from the line, right? And yeah, you can see. I mean, wide swing. Look at those punishing right, right jabs coming there from. Straight left. Here, 
primary three flag there, accompanying the real showboy, national and West African champion. Uh, you know, we forgot the title this guy is uh, the West African <laughs> champion also. Yeah. It's a great one for him. Let's get into the ring and get the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, one minute, 24 seconds of the fifth round. Winner. No. Hey. <laughs> Winner by TKO. The showboy. Real well.